Good day gamers, welcome to New by Design. Today we're going to be doing a video here on Assassin's Creed Origins. We're going to show you how to easily, and I mean easily, get all three loot treasures in the Royal Palace here. You're not even going to get aggro, or at least if you follow this method, you won't get aggro. And we're going to show you exactly what you're going to do. So as you've seen on the map, we're starting from the east of the castle here. And you can see that I've already circled around with my eagle, and I've got everybody marked and all the treasures marked. You're going to go up this wall right here. You're going to try to avoid any aggro, so you might go slow. Go across the top of that fence, climb up and go through this opening, drop down to the ground, and then you'll see this one on the base level. You're going to go to the left, and then they get the other one, which is just across on the other side of that wall, also at the main level. Then we're going to go ahead, take the roof, go over the roof, onto this building over to the right, and then we're gonna cross over. This other one right here is right through this door on the base level again, and you're gonna go over to the left. So, a little bit confusing right now, but we'll show you how we do it as we get them here. So, shouldn't be a big problem for us at all, and we'll get you through it. Shouldn't be a problem for you guys either. So like I said, we're going to go up this little rock facing here, then we're going to go up the wall, we're just going to climb up normal, and when we get close to the top, we're just going to make sure that there's nobody there, because obviously we don't want to get aggro at all in this one, because there is a ton of troops. So we're going to slide over to the side and go to the area approximately of where I said we we're going to go, and that's going to be almost the center between these two guys here. So we're going to go over just a little bit more, slide a little bit more, and then we will make sure nobody's staring at us, and they're not staring at us. Again, you can see they're just looking out to the end. So then we are going to go ahead, climb right over, and make sure you guys crouch. Again, plan is to go over this fence here. Manage to make it work somehow. That's awesome. Stoked about that. And now we are just going to climb up to the opening. You can see we're in the opening here, and now we're going to go, and just make sure you hit O if you're on PlayStation 4 to just drop slowly. Don't hold it, just hit it dropping slowly. We're going to drop down, and there's no people in here, they're just guarding the actual entrance to it. Try not to do that, though. This was smooth right up until I lit myself on fire. Definitely recommend, don't light yourself on fire. Make sure you crouch, and as I said, on the main level here, you can see the first one is right here. So not a big deal at all, although I picked up the wrong one, so we'll have to go back and grab that. Um, no big deal, though. We'll make sure that we pick it up from the ground there, and then we'll grab it, and we'll go get the other ones here. So you can see we're crouching because right at the entrance is two heavy guards, and they do some pretty decent damage. But it's not even the damage, really, because you can beat them. It's just they take they alert everybody and then it makes it a pain so you can see like i said just on the other side of the wall second one right here again no problems haven't alerted anybody yet so now we're going to go ahead and try to execute the other part of the plan which is getting the last one the last one is a little bit difficult but i assure you guys if you follow this you won't have any problems at all so i'm just checking up here to see if there is any windows so i can save myself some time turns out there's not so we'll just go ahead Climb back up the way we went in, or the way we came in there. We're going to climb up this statue here, go out that same window, and then we're going to just make our way to the roof. And we'll show you guys again. The whole purpose of this one is to do it fast by not getting aggro. And that's the biggest, most important thing anyway. So we're going to go ahead and climb to the top of the roof here. And then we are going to make our way over to the right. Conveniently, there's a couple cables that connect the tops of the roof. So you're way out of range and then they can't aggro you. But we're just going to crouch in case it makes less noise and you're less visible for everybody. So again, here's one of the first cables here. We're going to crawl over to this roof here. Then once we get here, there just happens to be another one that connects on the second level and the mid level here to the other roof. And we're going to use that to our advantage. Again, you can see there's a guy walking right this way. But he can't see you, which is awesome, because then you don't have any problems. Again, we're going slowly, we're crouching, and we're going to get right to this edge, and we're going to just hit O again if you're playing PlayStation 4 to slowly go down, because we don't want to make any crashing sounds. Now we're going to walk to the far side of the roof. So we're going to go to the other side of the roof from where we came in, and then we're going to wait for this patroller to get through. It just happened to work out perfectly for me. He's actually walking his way through. We're going to crouch over because, again, if you drop from here, it might make some sound. And I really don't want to sound and to turn that guy around. So we're going to hit O and kind of slowly go down the post here and then crawl or creep behind him. And as I said, this one here is just on the base level, which we're on right now. And it's just over to the left. So you can see we've now got right all the way over. This is going to be picking up our last one, our third one. No aggro. Super easy if you guys follow this path it'll be no problems for you at all just make sure ahead of time that you guys use your eagle to mark everybody because then you can see where they're going if you guys found this video useful i sure would appreciate it if you guys would click that like button if you guys are struggling with anything else in assassin's creed unity and you'd like assassin's creed origins and you guys would like a video on it please be sure to comment in the comments below thanks for watching guys